During the time period of 1911 through 1917, Auburn High School athletics were just beginning their first games ever played. The first football game ever played was in 1911. In 1915, Auburn High recorded their first unbeaten record in football school history. Our current rival, Opelika, hadn't started their first football games at this time, so our first rival was Sydney Lanier High School in Montgomery. The Tigers won the area or region tournament a total of 10 times during this time period. Those years are 1922, 1923, 1925, 1926, 1927, 1929, 1934, 1937, 1940, and 1948. Also in 1911, the Auburn High School men's basketball team played their first game. Basketball was actually the first organized sport that was held here at Auburn High. The men's team was the state runner-up in 1924. The Auburn High women's basketball program didn't officially start until 1914. The program was eventually canceled after 15 years due to cutbacks from the Great Depression. The Auburn High School baseball team started playing their first season sometime around 1912. The baseball team played every season up until 1923 until it was canceled for a few seasons. After a long 23 years, Auburn High took the field again in 1947. Well, a lot of the older history that I would know would come from competing against Auburn High School when I was a student at Opelika High School and playing sports there. And I, probably the winningest coach in the history of Auburn High School high school football is Coach R.L. Beard. And he, wa he won well over a hundred games during his regime, which lasted probably close to 25 years. And the uh, basketball situation and the baseball, uh, back in those days, there were no girls sports. There was basketball and there was track and there was football and baseball and that was virtually it. The Auburn High fight song, Hooray for Auburn, was created in 1961 by Tommy Golf after hearing the varsity cheerleaders use the lyrics in a cheer. The melody is still used today by the band as well as other schools using the tune for their respective mascots. During the span of the 60s through the 80s, Auburn High School cross country won seven state titles, dominating in 1967, 1968, 1969, 1970, 1979, and 1980. The Auburn High men's track team won state in 1965, 1966, 1967, 1968, 1969, 1970, and 1971. Auburn's seven consecutive titles between 1965 and 1971 is a state record for men's outdoor track. I think, uh, you know, when you talk about Auburn City Schools Athletic Department and you look at the history of that, I think you have to go back and, and give credit where credit's due, which is, first of all, to the system itself. Um, with the support uh, of our superintendents that have been here, uh, the Auburn City Schools uh, School Board, uh, all of that in, in allowing an athletic director to be in place to oversee athletics. When you go all the way back to who was the first athletic director here at Auburn City Schools, which was Wayne Murphy. Uh, Wayne Murphy did a tremendous job uh, of supporting programs at that time. I was blessed to have an opportunity to work under Coach Murphy as a uh, coach, teacher and a coach at that time. And uh, so I've ha had an opportunity to see how that growth has happened after Coach Murphy stepped aside and retired. Coach uh, Chuck Furlow stepped in uh, and continued the progress there. And uh, the, the growth has continued to uh, almost explode itself uh, from a standpoint of, of, of where uh, we do have a lot of different athletic programs uh, that can be offered. And both of those men with their leadership and vision uh, is the reason that we're where we are here today and with the support of our school system. To my recollection, the origin of Sanford the Tiger was in like 2000 or 2001. And a young man by the name of Jamarius Oliver, I think, was the first one. And I think after him, I think it might have been Nathan Puckett. And that being the origin of it, uh, it, it's something I was really happy to get, see get started. 
1995, Auburn High's first mascot, Sanford the Tiger, was created. The name Sanford was created from three main symbols of the school and the town. Sanford Hall, which is located on Auburn University, Duck Sanford Stadium, which is Auburn High's home football stadium, and Sanford Avenue, which is the location of Auburn High School. Sanford has been and will continue to be a big part in the spirit and tradition of Auburn High School athletics. Led by 15-year veteran coach Duke Smith, Auburn High's men's golf team dominated the Greens from 2004 through 2007. The teams captured four straight championships in 6A. After being state runner-up many times during the late 1980s through 1990s, Auburn High School's basketball coach Frank Tolbert led his 2005 men's basketball team to win their first ever state championship by beating LaFleur High School 59-35. When I came here in 98 as athletic director, we had 800 students roughly in the top three grades, males and females. And that's how athletic classifications are based on the num total number of students you have 10 through 12. We had roughly 800. Well now that number is 1600. So you can see how the school has grown and how all of the athletic programs, and one goal that we always had in athletics was to try to be competitive in every sport, every team that we put on the field or on the court or on the mats to be competitive on a statewide basis. And due to the growth and the number of students that we picked up uh, along the way, our, the, our talent pool got deeper and we were able to uh, do a lot of things. One, I think one of the biggest things that I, I really got a lot of pleasure in was the fact that when I came here, we did not have volleyball at this school. And in 2000, we started our ladies volleyball team and, and that's done real well. But just to watch the numbers, for instance, in football, we dressed 40 guys on the varsity. We had 26 on the ninth grade team and we had a combined seventh and eighth grade team of about 60 kids. Well, now you look at those numbers and there's 120 on the varsity football. There's 60 something on the ninth grade team and each of seventh and eighth grade teams are up in the eighties. So the, the program has just exploded. And a lot of that is because of, we were able to get some good coaches in here, good good uh, leadership that the, that the kids enjoyed playing for and the parents enjoyed working with their kids, plus just the numbers increasing. But the, the growth of this program and the level of competitiveness now is, is just really, I think it's well, well respected in the entire state. Auburn High School's athletic program has been built to a statewide dominant force. Starting in 2014, the HSAA reclassified the athletics program and developed a new classification titled 7A. Luckily, Auburn was selected to be a part of this new classification. Throughout the past five years, Auburn has captured many state titles in different sports such as baseball in 2010, women's golf in 2010, men's soccer in 2012, cross country in 2013 and 2014, which was the first in 7A, men's outdoor track in 2013, and men's indoor track in 2015. The football team was recently state runner-up in football in 2013 after losing in the state championship in Tuscaloosa against Hoover. Um, I have really seen our programs grow uh, because with the growth that we've had in Auburn City Schools, that gives us more participants to be involved. Uh, a thing a lot of people don't know when you say Auburn City Schools Athletics is we have 14 major sports, uh, but under those 14 major sports are different levels, which would be an example like a middle school level, a JV level, and a varsity level with boys and girls programs involved in that, which gives us a total of right at 45 different levels that can be played through middle school, the junior high, and the high school level. Um, so, you know, growth continues to happen. Um, I've been very blessed just to have a chance to be part of it and watch as this growth has gone on. And uh, again, I think the thing you have to do is give credit to the community, uh, the kids, uh, and our coaches because they've done a great job of keeping all that steady and, and moving forward and what they've done. And uh, I think that's going to continue to do nothing but grow. When you talk about the future, the opportunity we have to move into the new high school, with the facilities that we'll have a chance to move into, with the facilities that our other programs will inherit here uh, are really going to be neat uh, to be able to see our kids be part of that. And then as that growth continues with as we have grown in 7A, uh, it'll be very interesting uh, to see where you know we continue to go. 
but I think there's nothing but great things ahead for this athletic program. Um, and again, it's, it's just a blessing to be part of it. But again, giving credit uh, to all involved with administration, our coaches, and our student athletes. As Auburn High enters into a new chapter in its athletic history, becoming 7A and competing against the biggest schools in Alabama, its solid history has laid the foundation for a bright athletic future.